Hello guys, Mikijib here. Welcome back to another Sword Art Online in the factory video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna just talk about the metal shop because they have two skills that you should buy from the monthly reset. Now, which one is the monthly reset? Well, it is the Kirito one, which is top of this list. And Asuna is a permanent, which you don't really care. It has more special stuff there, but we don't really care about it. We only care about the Kirito one because they have two skills that you should buy immediately once you see it, or if you have enough combat metal to buy them. The two skills I'm talking about is Asuna and Elizabeth, the Charming Lady Asuna and Coffee Break Elizabeth. Those two skills is worth and you should get them. Now let's have a look in the shop, right? Before I talk about them, let's talk, talk about the other stuff that you can buy in the shop. You can buy core metal, stones, crystal, release crystal, any of those stuff that you really need, but most of them is farmable. Now, if you're wondering how to get this currency, these medals, the medal of the combat art, this is mostly from the event that you usually do every month when they release a new event, so you make sure to buy them because they are really important currency for free to play and new players. Definitely try to farm a lot of them because you do need a lot of them when you are buying skills. Here is another event that has ended a long time ago, but the shop is still there and I already bought most of the stuff here. So yeah, you can see they're adding a lot of stuff that you can buy, so make sure to farm events. They have always some good stuff there. Now, let's go back to this one. And yeah, so let's talk about the, the stuff that you shouldn't buy in the shop. And uh, let's start with what? Stones, core metals, and also crystals. Those three you should not buy because they they can be farmable and also they have increased the drop rate for the bosses so they are easily to obtain and they definitely not worth like 100 medals for a core medals no thank you for stones 50 54 furry not really worth it when you can easily farm them it takes what 10 runs 20 20 runs to get one stone yeah definitely not worth it you can see it's so expensive so don't buy this it is a scam definitely a scam not worth it now, this one, we have large uh, real crystal. If you want to, you can buy five of them for 25 medals. Uh, I don't really do that because they are farmable. You can easily farm them. Same goes for the medium ones. Both of these is farmable, so you don't really need to buy them unless you really need them right now. Sure, you can pay them, but I don't really buy them. They're really expensive in my opinion. Not really worth it. Maybe if it only costs like what? Uh, one medal for five medium and one medal for two release crystal. Maybe that is worth more worth it. Uh, Marl Albrook is farmable. You don't really need to buy them. Same goes for Awakening Star, uh, Jewels. They are not worth it. You can easily farm them up. It doesn't take that long to farm them. You can see here I have a lot of them because they are in the event shop as well. So you can easily farm them up. Uh, same go for the XP crystal, not really worth it. Uh, you get them from events or from gacha. And then for Niders, um, it depends, but I think it's kind of expensive. Like a large one for 50 medals, no thank you. That expensive. Now the first skill we can see here is this Xenon. Now, is this New Year Xenon worth to get? Uh, let's have a look at the skills. Um, Oh, this one. Um, yeah, this is definitely not worth the buy because it's a gamble, or you're using a chance to get these buffs. So you can get different buffs, of course. Uh, they are not really worth it. I don't think it's really worth it. Now, some people might be able to use it somewhat, but the only thing you really, really want is the super buff debuff. Because the super debuff gives you 2.5 extra damage on your next scale, which also works in party. That is the only thing, but you have 1% chance to get it. So yeah, I don't think it's really worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, definitely skip. Now we have these two skills here. Two three star, Klain and Agile. Um they are right, not the best, but you can easily obtain them when they have a rerun, a rerun event. So definitely not worth the buy and you can easily maximum break them if you farm enough. So I would say not worth the buy as well. And next we have this Kirito here, this Awakening Kirito. Nothing special about it, it's kind of useless in my opinion, so not really worth the buy as well. And we have some Avatar, if you like them you can buy, uh, kind of worth it. Now. Here we have the first skill that we really, really want to buy, which is Charming Lady Asuna. 
Now, why is this one really good? First, we don't really care about the follow of Asuna ability, it's pretty useless, but for new, new players and beginners, it can be good. Now, we only care about this Frostbite Resistant. Enhanced Frostbite Resist 4, it is really good, especially for late game, because some bosses does apply Frostbites, especially in Underground, we have the Kennet Cobble, it does apply Frostbites, which can be annoying, and also apply Item Seal, so you can can't really um, cleanse the Frostbite. But with this passive, when you put on a ring, you will never get this Frostbite element, which is really, really good. So definitely worth the buy. Charming Lady Asna is worth the buy right now, if you have 44 metal right now. And next, we should have the Coffee Break at least a bit. Okay, these two first. Now, these two, not worth the buy. They are not really good. You can get them rerun in a Valentine event, so not really worth it. Basically to here, um, not really worth it as well. Now, this one is also worth it, which is the Elizabeth, cover break Elizabeth. It basically works same as Asuna, but this one focuses more on burn. So you have a burn resistant, which is at 100%. Now, this is more popular and more used in other late game content, especially GOG as well. Um, this one can be used in Extreme Wireburn, which is floor 17, really good. Or floor 91, which also apply burn really good because it can nullify all the burn you will never get them and we also do have i believe floor 85 i think it's applying burn as well the huang the 100 arms huang i believe it apply burn i think not sure but this one is really good, good. so what do you want to buy coffee break elizabeth and asana the charming lady asana definitely worth to buy right now if you do have the metals to buy it if you don't make sure to farm up some metals to buy these too because they are really worth it they works early game decent but late game they are like god tier s tier so make sure to buy them and i i don't have the maximum break so i'm gonna buy these use example like they are definitely worth it limb breaking worth to buy as well so these two skill Make sure to buy them. Um, I'm unsure if they're gonna be in the next rotation, but hopefully they do in the next rotation so you can have more events to able to save up more combat medals to buy them. Now, which one you should prioritize? Prioritize Elizabeth first before Asuna because Elizabeth is gonna be used most of the time. So yeah, that's for me, a short update for this metal shop. Make sure to buy them and that's for me. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now and bye-bye.